OK, so we're taking a look at the new Ocean Signal ATB1 Class B Plus AIS transponder. Transponder, this is one of the new SOTDMA transponders, uh, which gives a greater uh, range and uh, faster update times. So let's take a look, see what comes in the box. OK, so first off, uh, we've got a very brief installation guide on the inside flap of the box, which is a really nice, useful uh, feature. We've then got uh, relevant paperwork, owner's manual, the transponder itself, which is, as you can see, very neat. Um, Inputs for power, GPS, antenna, and USB. Um, peel back that sticker, and there's also a status light. And in this box, we have the GPS antenna mounting plate. That's if it's to go onto a flat surface. The actual screw thread on the GPS antenna is just standard one inch thread um, so that will fit any standard uh, rail mount in stainless steel or plastic or an angled one or a whole variety of, uh, of mounts that are available Sta same as uh, any GPS or Navtex antenna mounts that's a common standard there's 10 meters of cable nice and thin so that's uh, fairly easy to work with and that would just go through the deck with a standard waterproof deck band We've got a power data cable, a little bag of stainless steel um, machine bolts and washers for the antenna, and uh, a USB cable, and there's also a USB cable with a female, so that's quite handy if you want to run it directly into a computer, you can get a uh, extension cable and plug one end into the uh, to the transponder and the other end into an extension which then goes into the computer. So there you have it, um, the new Ocean Signal ATB1 Class B Plus AIS transponder. So these new AIS transponders, uh, they're being referred to uh, in a number of uh, different terms. Um, we're using B+, plus, uh, but you may also see them um, marketed as Class B SOT DMA or even Class uh, B 5 Watt. Now these units are designed to bridge the gap be between Class A transponders. Uh, these are the sort of th uh, units that are found on commercial vessels and the older Class B transponders, which have been up until uh, the advent of B+, the standard type of uh, transponder found on leisure vessels. Now, Class B+, uses the same SOTDMA technology as Class A, and therefore has the same priority when it comes to reserving a time slot guaranteeing that it will always be able to transmit even when you're in an area with busy AIS um, congestion. For fast moving vessels, this is important as the missed transmissions can result in a vessel moving a long distance before the next message to ascend, to ascend transmission. Another feature of the new Class B Plus technology, it has taken from Class A, is the increased and automatic changing of the transmission rates depending on speed. Unlike Class A, the update time uh, is relatively unaffected by whether the vessel is manoeuvring, but, the, but as the vessel's speed increases, the number of transmission increases so that other vessels get a clearer and more up-to-date view of exactly where your vessel is. Now, um, the update time um, or the advanced update time that the Class B transponder um, features 
that is something which is particularly important for power boats. However, B plus also has an important feature that makes it attractive to all leisure boat users um, in that the class B transponders have a much higher power transmission, five watts instead of two watts. Now this not only increases the range over which the vessel's transmission will be received, um, that's assuming that you have a good antenna insulation and it's at a reasonable height, um, but it will also significantly improve the AIS satellite reception, enabling global tracking in a distress situation. Now, um, this feature of the faster update time for Class B Plus um, really is vital for fast moving powerboats. Um, if, for example, you've got a powerboat which is traveling at 23 knots, it will move 360 meters in 30 seconds, which is an update rate of a normal Class B transponder. On Class B Plus, a vessel traveling at the same speed of 23 knots or more, the update time is five seconds. So using this example, we can see that the vessel will only travel 60 meters. And you know the difference between a 60 meter or a super tanker knowing you where you are within 60 meters and 360 meters within uh, a confined area of water like the Solent is obviously very important. Taking a closer look at the ATB1 hardware, um, as you can see, the transponder is very neat and compact. Um, it's housed within this tough, um, high visibility um, ABS plastic case. It's rated to um, IPX7, so therefore it's, it's fully waterproof. Now, if we just flick the unit up there, we can see the connectors um, mounted on the bottom of the unit. Uh, the first one is the uh, input for the VHF antenna. Um, AIS signals are transmitted on the marine band VHF frequency. Uh, so uh, that's where the antenna goes for that. That's a standard PL259 uh, connector that um, most VHF antennas come, um, come with. Next to that, we've got the power data cable. Um, the data on that being NMEA 0183. Uh, next to that one is the GPS antenna. And finally on the end we have the NMEA 2000 uh, connector which will then link in to the ship's system, the, uh, the backbone. Um, at the front here there is a USB uh, cable input. Um, and that is used for programming the MMSI number into the, uh, the AIS transponder and also giving a USB out. Uh, and next to that, we can see uh, there's these rather handy uh, lights so you can see the status of the actual uh, unit and when it's, when it's in operation. So uh, the ATB1 will actually communicate with your onboard systems in, uh, in four different ways, uh, either via USB directly into a, a computer. So if you're running a program, uh, a, um, a PC based um, navigation program, it will feed directly into the USB port. Uh, it can either interface via NMEA 2000, uh, which is the latest uh, protocol for data transmission for um, chart board, plotter and other navigation equipment. Um, you also have the older NMEA 0183 connection um, for, again, for, for chart plotters. And finally, it has built-in Wi-Fi. So um, with the use of Ocean S uh, Signals free app, you can actually display all your AIS uh, targets on, and information on either Android or Apple devices.